people still cannot tell Asians apart. Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. We got another case of the mainstream media mixing Asians up with each other. Long story short, Ali Wong is divorcing her real husband, Justin Okuda. But when the mainstream media was reporting it, uh, they were getting her husband mixed up with Randall Park, who's an actual famous actor and only played her husband in a movie. And a lot of people were really offended by this on Reddit, Twitter, different blogs, a lot of outrage. And you know, the interesting thing was initially when me and you heard about this, we didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, I knew it was kind of a big deal, like a little bit, but we were worried about like the New York subway shooter. And you know, he had shot a bunch of Asians too. So I was more like, yo guys, uh, I don't want to be like a representation and only care about this when this is happening, like literally right outside of my door. But Jeff Yang then wrote a think piece about it a week later, and it kind of made me reconsider how big of a deal it was because there was a reason it went viral. It's because so many people related to being mixed up for another Asian at their workplace or at school or in like a social setting. Yeah, it's happened to all of us actually. Anybody who's ever been in media and even the Asians who have never been in media, just every regular Asian who's been in a space where there's uh, maybe not a lot of Asians or it's ran by non-Asians, you'll get mixed up for each other. Right, and uh, in the article, Jeff Yang uh, interviews a lot of celebrities about different people they've been mixed up for, especially in the media space. If you guys know about Western media, it's probably like less than 5% Asian. So it's not like the medical field where Asians are theoretically overrepresented at like 40%, 50%. Uh, we're talking about fields, specifically media, sports, marketing, sales, you know, more things that have a very low percentage of Asians in it. Basically, you're bound to be mixed up for like 50 other people. Yeah, so let's talk about why it's actually so bad, what it actually means at its core when you break it down. And then like, who cares the most? Because I do think there is a generational divide. I think young Asians, while they are insulted by this instance, especially because Ali Wong is famous and like, oh man, finally the news cares about the personal life of an Asian person. This has never yeah, happened right. Before. That's actually progress in and of itself, even right. though it's not perfect progress. But then they couldn't Google things correctly, which is like ridiculous for a news source. But anyways, I think the younger people might not care as much as the older people. Yeah, I think sense. the reason younger people don't care as much is because one, uh, it's less likely to happen to a younger person. And not only that, I think they kind of care less about the approval in, I guess, like white spaces that the 40 year old Asians and up, you know, we're talking about the Asians that care what parade is. A lot of young Asians don't even know what parade is. I don't is. know what parade, I didn't, I never heard of it. Yeah, uh, but you know, like Asians who are sort of still locked into like the old days, you know, like the 40, 50, 60 year old Asian Americans, they're probably like, man, this has happened to us our whole lives and we made so much progress just for them to not know who Randall Park is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was MSN. MSN is kind of like a, like a boomer source. Yeah, right. I think that, uh, you know, but Jeff Yang in the article, he does do a good job of talking about this like invisibility cloud yeah. that, uh, that Asians have in like non-Asian spaces. Uh, for example, um, Justin Lin, getting mistaken, Justin Lin is a very, very rich, famous movie director, getting mistaken for being a Chinese delivery guy, like a food delivery guy on his own set. You know, examples like that. Um, there was different Indian anchors that were talking about, oh, yo, they asked me to be on like, uh, debate somebody really big on this issue and I wasn't even the right Indian they were thinking yeah. about. Yeah, we're not talking about instances where it's just like some random person on the street catches a glimpse of you and then mistakens your name. This is actually like the workplace. These are actually like famous people. These are like the institutions are making this mistake. So that's why I really think like, it kind of reminds Asians that, uh, I don't know if it's like the facial features or whatever, but a lot of people just kind of like look at our faces and they don't scan it with detail. Yeah, I would say to them, they're, they're, just, possibly, like, they're just like a, a, yeah. a tan blob. It, it possibly looks like Terrence and Philip. You know how the Canadians in South Park are drawn with like much less detail than the actual South Park characters. But here's the point is that Anybody can mistaken you for anybody. Like I've had Asians mistaken me for other Asians, right? So it's not just like white people or black people that would do it to us. But I'm just saying that it just shows that you don't really care that much. You're not taking the time to really think and you don't feel like there's any repercussions for mistaking that person for yeah, someone else. I remember growing up, a lot of black people told me and my black friends told me that they used to get mistaken for other black people. And this is like maybe like 25 years yeah, ago. Happens. I think in 2022, that's viewed as very taboo. Yes, I think a lot of people are very careful to not mistaken the black person as someone else anymore. Um, but I think for Asians, they still, it's it kind of goes back to like how Asians are treated. 
people just don't care to get things wrong with us. Like, it's not a big deal. They're just like, oh, my bad. You're not that person. Or oh, whatever. my goodness, bro. It's like, it's like, who cares if you insult an Asian? It's not and, that big of a deal, And I think deal, there's right? a couple different reactions to it because I used to get mistaken for my manager who was, like, many notches higher than me at Verizon when I was in college. Yeah. Like, my store manager, like, the district manager would even come in yeah. and think, that I was the manager. Right. And I'm like, dang, you think I directly report to you? I'm like way lower than you on the scale. But like, they yeah, just couldn't tell the difference. They're like, hey, well, that's I was you. working in Issaquah. I was like a white area. That's you in the little uh, email profile picture, right? Right. Right? I mean, I mean, you guys were both East Asians, but of course, regardless, you guys didn't look that much alike. Yeah, I was like, thank you for mistaking me for like somebody who makes like way more money. You're than like, me. no, trust me, I'm, I'm actually not that good of a worker. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that there's different reactions to it. I could have like dyed my hair and got piercings or tattoos or did anything I could that would make me seem in in the white gaze to be like a different Asian that to, doesn't fit their stereotypes. To be more right? distinct. I mean, I, I know a lot of Asians who wear loud oh, clothing. A lot of girls get like uh, highlights or streaks or like a melange or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the reason why even someone like Eddie Huang like even dresses the way he does partially because he's just, it's so loud and just different. Like, it's just a it's you're not gonna get him mixed up with uh, with another Asian. Yeah, I do think that the younger Asians. Not only does it happen less to them, but I think the younger Asians kind of care less because I see a lot of younger Asians entering non corporate paths where they would basically could avoid this. Right. What do you mean younger? These, like twenty? Like we're mm, talking about like twenty? Because years being old an young. entrepreneur is like much more common for like Asians under thirty than it was for thirty and up crowd. Yeah. And that's what I noticed is that people who don't want to deal with sort of this like potential mix ups and you know, so you have to sort of bite your tongue yeah. in corporate America. Jeff Yang talks about that. Cause he's like, what are you going to do? Try to rip down the whole structure as you're trying to rise up the structure. Like, I think there's less people wanting to deal with it. Yeah. But, I, and, and again, like this kind of goes back to the spaces that you want to be a part of. And when those spaces mix you up, and don't care that much about your identity and get your name wrong, then you pretty much feel like those spaces don't care about you. I've heard stories of like Asians who go to like a church that's predominantly not Asian, right? And then like they're going to the church and you're at a church, right? Like this is like a place of worship, you know everybody, it's your community, whatever. And then they still get mistaken for other like Asian women at that church, but there's only like five Asian women. Right, and it's right. like, and it's well, like, people are not used to scanning yeah. it. We always said there was an analogy if you're not very familiar with pizza, like maybe people in Asia aren't don't have super high pizza IQ, you're gonna look at most pizza and be like, yeah, that's a pepperoni. No, like slice. all but New if, York slices. Yeah, but if you're are like look a New same. Yorker and you know, like, no, you're like, nah, that's got basil on it. Yeah. The crust isn't too crispy. Like, yeah, I don't think it's always malicious. It's just about how much thought and analysis you've put on their face. It's like, how much do you care about getting this right? And I just think it's insulting because a lot of people don't care if they get it wrong with Asians. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to all the other Asian issues of like people not caring about Asians or people wanting to hurt Asians or when they hurt Asians, they feel like they're not hurting like a real yeah. person. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's kind of like, it does, it does connect back to it. Of course, this is like on a pop main this sort of like media level. Vague Terrence and Philipization you know, let's say Western people get to be full South Park characters and we're Terrence and Phillip, like the stick figures. Like there's a lot of, you know, you could extrapolate to what it means to a lot of different sectors of society. And I think that that's kind of what Jeff Yang was pointing at. I think one thing he didn't do was talk about what people do to like get out of that like 2D-ness and to become 3D. Right. Um, like I said, that's why people like try to do everything they can to be like identified with other things, whether like that's the cool, like really hip hop Asian, or that's like the blonde haired Asian, or this is like the rocker Asian with the purple bangs and the lip ring. I, I'll give people a, a small break here. I remember going to the grocery store and you know how there's like the Asian grocery store, the 99 ranch. And you know how like, there's a lot of like five foot moms there and they all have black hair. Like I've definitely mistaken other women for our mom before. You know, at least from the back, yeah, where I was yeah. like, yo, is that mom? And then I'm like, oh, wait, no, yeah, that's not. I, I don't want to say it's like only on, you know, white people or non Asian people, because we get mistaken all the time. I mean, one time, and I will say this first of all, shout out to Filipino people. But for <laughs> some reason, there are some Filipinos that are not very good at recognizing uh, really uh, a I, oriental faces. And yeah. I got called one time, the craziest one, Andrew, uh, Jet Lee from Wong Fu. Yo, Arena this is the craziest Arena story. nightclub. So it was at a nightclub. I think people are kind of lit. You know, it's dark and stuff. But regardless, Jet Li from Wong Fu is... Who is that? First of all, Jet Li is a real person. So you got mistaken for a real person. But that is a cr crazy... Jet Li has never been in a Wong Fu video. 
Um, well, first of all, us getting mistaken for Wong Fu is actually not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. That's totally understandable. Chinese uh, YouTubers in the same but, era, but I think this Filipino guy, he went up to me uh, at, at a different party and he was like, yo, you're Yang Chow. Oh. And then I was like, you just called me the fried right. rice You dish. You would have took uh, Kev Jumba, Justin I Chan. <laughs> I, w- I would have taken Steven Yoon, yeah, uh, Justin Chan, kept any of them, anything. Yeah, I but just, a plate of fried rice. I think, to me, it goes back to, like you said, how much do you care? And then how much are you at the whim of your environment? Uh, American Western society until recently hasn't really ranked Asians uh, with that much importance, even though, you know, Asians have important jobs and things of that nature. They're sort of these faceless cogs in the machine. And how do we step out of the background and into the spotlight and not to be like above other people, but just to have our respect for what we've done, I think is a good question. And that was sort of, you know, my extrapolation of the Jeff Yang yeah. article. Yeah. Um, you know what makes it tough? And I'm just going to close off here. This is kind of a funny point. But a lot of people talk about, if you talk to Asian guys about hair, they're like, man, there's not that many hairstyles for Asian guys, man, that look good. Right, so a lot of the- them end up getting similar hairstyles. So it really doesn't help, man. And I, listen. Oh, if you man, is, if you go to Den Social sometimes, or like, uh, if you go to any Asian nightclub, listen, it's not going to end. Here's my thing: it's not going to end, and you just kind of gotta deal with it. You know, like this has been happening for 50, 60 years, probably 70 years, as long as Asians have been in America, and it's going to continue to happen to happen a little bit more. So you know, find a way to deal with it, and uh, yeah, do the little things if you want to be more distinct. But you can always, you know. Like, I just think it's a generational thing, though. Like, yeah. the older generation that cannot recognize Asian faces, I do think is uh, is aging. And now. I do think that, in a way, like, at first I couldn't understand why this article was going so hyper-viral on social media. Uh, but then I realized, like, not everybody was living in New York going through the subway shooter thing like we were. Like, you know, yeah. literally, we're, like, out riding, like, being yeah. like, is that him? Is that him? And it was crazy because we, he ended up, was in Chinatown. Yeah. But, uh, like, um... You know, this is like something that's more like relatable, I guess, to, to regardless of whatever life you've lived or well, whatever let me, city you live in. Let me tell you this, guys. Those news sources that called Randall Park Ali Wong's husband, they're washed. Those are washed news sources. Parade? I don't even know what that is. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that this is a big deal or uh, not. Let us know if you have any stories about being mistaken for somebody, whether yeah. that's in work or another setting. Let us know, because I think everybody has been mistaken for somebody else, like, at some point in their life, and especially if you're Asian. Um, but, yes, it happens to everybody. We understand that. So, uh, please let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.